ball on Dolly. She's the one that spins his neck and man just named the kind of man your sister wants and she'll snatch him up. Don't forget to bring your maid and that's and she'll match him up. Call on Dolly. If your eldest daughter needs a friend, Just name the kind of man your sister wants and she'll snatch him up. Don't forget to bring your maid and that's and she'll match him up. Call on Dolly Levi. That's right. Dolly Levi, born Gallagher. Social introduction. Ladies and gentlemen of excellent family, introduced under the most respectable conditions in an atmosphere of elegance and refinement. Object, matrimony. Unfortunately, I won't be able to offer my usual lightning service today, as I have a previous appointment in Yonkers, New York, arranging the second marriage of Mr. Horace Vandegelder, the well-known half-millionaire. As my late husband, Ephraim Levi, says, that means he's got at least 60,000 cash. But I'll do my best to have you carried across someone's threshold before the week is out. Now, I might also mention I'm available for financial consultation, instruction in guitar and mandolin, short distance hauling, and varicose veins reduced. Call on Dolly. She's the one that spins her neck and man just in the kind of man your sister wants and she'll snatch him up. Don't forget to bring her maiden and she'll lash him up. Call on Dolly. Mrs. Levi. Myself. I do those silhouettes with scissors and black paper. Here's one of Adderay Hand looking the other way. I have to do them like that because I'm no good at noses. Mrs. Levi, the train for Yonkers leaves in five minutes, and if we don't get there on time... But we will, Mr. Kemper. And not only will Horace Vandegelder give you permission to marry his niece, Ermengarde, but he'll also dance at your wedding. And not alone, either, because I happen to be engaged in finding him a suitable second wife himself. What he really wants is someone steady to clean the house. As my late husband, Mr. Levi, says, marriage is a bribe to make a housekeeper think she's a householder. Oh, I know all about it, Mrs. Levi. Half New York says he's going to propose to Miss Irene Malloy this very afternoon. Which is exactly why I'm on my way to Yonkers this morning, Mr. Kemper. It could take on your case and knock out four lovebirds with one stone or whatever I'll throw out the end. Well, 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 what do you think of that? I have nothing here to pay my train fare with, only large bills, fives and sevens. I have some change in here somewhere. I only hope this isn't a wild goose chase, Mrs. Levi. And speaking of poultry, I'm also available for fresh Jersey eggs, surgical corsets reboned, ears pierced, pierced ears replugged. Mrs. Levi! Just in the kind of man your sister wants and she'll snatch him up. Don't forget to bring your maid and ask and she'll match him up. Call on Dolly. Tell me, Mrs. Levi, what's in all this for you? A living Mr. Kemper. Some people paint, some sew, I meddle. I have always been a woman who arranges things for the pleasure and the profit it derives. I have always been a woman who arranges things like furniture. Duty. 
Now you get our tickets, get a window seat, order lunch, and I'll meet you on board. Ephraim Levi, I'm going to get married again. I'm going to marry Horace Vandigo to floor his money and send it out circulating among the people like rainwater the way you taught me. And I want to sign from you sometime today that you approve. Oh, it won't be a marriage in the sense we had one, but I shall surely make him happy. And I'm tired, Ephraim, tired of living from hand to mouth, so I want that sign. Sometime today. Now, don't you worry, Mr. Kemper. We'll make that train. We'll get to Yonkers. Just leave everything to me. For when my little pinky wiggles, some young maiden gets the giggles. Then I make my knuckles active. My says she's so attractive. Then I move my index digit, and they both begin to fidget. Then I clutch my ball. 